Or the game has changed. Because it's not just about price performance leadership. It's not just about performance per watt. It's not just about performance per millimeter squared. You can't drop your price and have DX11. You can't drop your price and have iFinity. We're now the world's fastest GPU, iFinity, stream, DX11. So now I'm going to turn it over to Sasha, who's going to give you more detail on the product. Thank you. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Now, this is one of those features that when you look at it, you think it, it, or when you hear about it, you think, yeah, this is going to be great, but, you know, I, I can't really yeah, tell. Yeah, one of them so they can make quick and informed decisions. And, of course, this is just a natural fit for that sort of thing. You can just have huge piles of data wrapped around you in any configuration you want on your nice high-res monitors so it's sharp and clear, and there's really no limitations that the hardware is giving you. And uh, the next one is kind of an interesting one. Uh, you know, our first, one of the first thoughts we had, we, we saw this as like, oh, we've got to put Google Earth on there and just, uh, just do a fly-through. Um, I was hoping we would show it here. Unfortunately, one issue with Google Earth is the internet connection is kind of a factor, so uh, we couldn't get the, quite the connection we wanted, but it, it's really cool flying through Google Earth on a six-monitor uh, six setup. Um, you know, when you're seeing it at full resolution, we can do it at 24 megapixels, and it's actually a smooth uh, flyover of terrain. It's just neat. I can't think of the actual use for